This is Lou Dobbs Tonight. News, debate, and opinion. Here again, Mr. Independent, Lou Dobbs. Welcome back, and let's talk about what is happening across this country. Uh, the weather is just unbelievable. And let's also talk about what it all means for a discussion of global warming. Unusual storms and a deep freeze across much of the country tonight. An overnight storm dumped about three and a half inches of snow on Las Vegas, which broke the previous December record of two inches of snow back in 1967. The normal snowfall for Las Vegas is just about a half an inch for the entire year. Snow even falling on the beachfront community of Malibu, California. The normally sunny and balmy city hit with half an inch of snow. And snow plows cleaning up roads in Pace in Arizona there after a winter storm dropped several inches of snow. Snow also falling in the state's higher elevations. Ten inches of snow falling in Flagstaff, Arizona. And it was snow, not the usual rain that ensnarled traffic on Seattle roads this morning. There could be more snow, uh, we're told, over the weekend in the northwest. Perhaps Al Gore now is uh, considering uh, global warming uh, <laughs> isn't such a problem because it is unusually warm in his home state of Tennessee. The forecast there calls for a high of 64 degrees in Nashville. Uh, Mr. Vice President, be careful. Now, joining me now to talk about this uh, bizarre weather uh, are from the CNN Weather Center in Atlanta, meteorologist Chad Meyer. Hey, Chad, man. great to have you with us. And in Columbus, Ohio, Jay Lair, he's senior fellow and science director of the Heartland Institute. Good to have you with us, Jay. Let me, uh, let me start, if I may, uh, Chad, this is really a peculiar sort of circumstance, or, or is this uh, one of those things where it just appears to be peculiar and we see this every winter? Yeah, you know, we really do. I mean, this is oh, the, 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 the chance. No, listen to this. The <laughs> chance of getting snow in Vegas on a day like yesterday, about one in 500. Now, that's the same chance of you getting a flush on a five card stud. Well, it happens. I mean, five cards, people do get flushes, right? So it, snow does happen. The odds are the same. And so but it's, it's, it's just not all that, un, it's not all that weird. We, we got record snowfall. Country. Wait a minute, Chad. Oh. We got record snowfall in Las Vegas. For one day. Well, come on, it's, <laughs> that's all we got is one day. <laughs> I guess, but you know, you can't blame global warming or global cooling on one event. It's, it's just too short. It's gotta be longer than we're talking about climate, not a day. All right, well, speaking of climates, let's turn to the science director and uh, at the Heartland Institute. Uh, and you, what correlation, if any, do you find, Jay, uh, between all of these uh, uh, cooling trends that we've seen uh, over this year and part of last year uh, in terms of so-called global warming? Any relationship? Uh, absolutely not, Lou. Uh, I agree with Chad. I used to teach at the University of Arizona in the 1960s, and uh, I can't remember a winter where we didn't have snow and people don't think it snows in the desert. I grew up near a farming community, and I started reading the Farmer's Almanac uh, when I was a small child. Right. And they've been tracking the weather since 1792. And uh, I've gone back through my almanacs, and if there's one thing constant about the weather, it's change. And uh, I also, I know I uh, share a hobby that you used to have, skydiving. Yep. I've jumped out of a plane in Ohio every month for 31 years, and I track the weather constantly to find out if I can make it out of a plane. <laughs> That's and a I good can thing to do. You, right, and the, the weather the last 10 years hasn't been significantly different than the 10 years before that or the 10 years before that. It has been, it's always changed is what the weather about and to say that it has to do with global warming is really uh, more of a joke than anything else why people are so alarmed about it I have no clue well you know it's it, that's fascinating Chad we're seeing you know weather that uh, at least is unusual for this one day as you point out uh, but uh, let me ask you for your viewpoint I mean is in your career are you seeing anything here that directly uh, uh, is tied to something called global warming fossil fuels man-made uh, which is the dominant influence overall on weather? Uh, is it uh, cycles, uh, the solar uh, sunspots, uh, solar flares, uh, the 11-year cycle? Is, is that dominant? What is dominant in terms of influencing weather? You know, to, to think that we could affect weather all that much is, is, is pretty arrogant. The Mother Nature is so big. The world is so big. The, the oceans are so big. I think we're going to die from a lack of fresh water, or we're going to die from ocean acidification before we die from global warming, for sure. But this is like, you know, you said, in your career. My career has been 22 years long. That's a, a good career in TV. But in, in talking about climate, it's like having a car for three days and say, this is a great car. 
Well, yeah, it was for three days, but maybe in day five, six, and seven, it won't be so good. And that's what we're doing here. We have 100 years worth of data, not millions of years that the world's been around. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jay, we've been around uh, just a little over four, by scientific estimates, about four and a half billion uh, years. Uh, what, is, what is your thought about the dominant influence on weather? Uh, uh, well, clearly, clearly, Lou, it is the sun. But if we go back in re really recorded human history, in the 13th century, we were probably seven degrees Fahrenheit warmer than we are now, and it was a very prosperous time for mankind. If we go back to the Revolutionary War 300 years ago, it was very, very cold. We've been warming out of that cold spell from the Revolutionary War period, and now we're back into a cooling cycle. The last 10 years have been quite cool, and uh, right now, I think think we're going into cooling rather than warming and that should be a much greater concern for uh, humankind but all we can do is adapt it is the sun that uh, does it not man Jay Lara thank you very much Chad Myers thank you very much we appreciate it find some more unusual weather for us Chad <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow another day up next the backlash over the president-elect's decision to uh, have uh, evangelical